Hey, what is up? I am back. It is four week lockdown, which means, what does it mean? What does it mean? Of course it means it's, it's lockdown. It's in the same word. Anyway, I'm back. Got some off. More importantly, I have a new car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got a new car. New car. <gasps> And yes, it's another car, and no, I didn't intend on keeping it, but I have fallen in love with it. It's awesome, and I want to tell you, show you guys it. It is a truck. It's an E53 2006 X5 3 liter diesel. They're actually really cool to drive. Feels like a nice, big, heavy, tanky truck. First gear is real short, second gear is real short, so you're just kind of like, eh, boop, 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 boop. But they're like 500 Newton meters, 70 Ks to like 110 K range. They're super fun. You put your foot down and they fly. It's also like my first SUV in forever. Like forever. Always had cars with nice rooms and they're lows. Curbs are terrifying. They're, they're daunting, but look how much tire. So it's pretty much like revenge on the curbs. I just hit curbs. I just smashed them for fun. The other day, I was going to parallel park and I just drove on the curb, over the curb, into the curb like twice for fun and then parked into the thing because it's over. I win. Just destroys the curbs. Curbs don't matter. Uh, I was gonna talk and do like talk and then like a jump here, jump here and be like an exciting person but I just gonna go show you the cat so let's go let's go look at the cat. This is a weird thing right we've got BMW here and then on the key notice like there's nothing there there's no BMW logo. Just wait just wait wait. Parked in a little funny space but you can see the green check it out you unlock it. And then you open the door. Ah, oh, don't work. Don't work at all. But thankfully we have this cool feature. Ooh, yeah. And you can jump in from here. Look, 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 look. We have the brown leather seats with the black trim, the wood grain, and the nice, like, tanned leather going to the brown carpet. And if you look closely, oh, got some genuine Yaris floor mats. Because because X5s come with Yaris floor mats and stuff, and, and everything's genuine and new, and it's a gem. <laughs> Check out the view from a new flat. How sick is this? This is like not a bad place to be quarantined at. In this first generation of X5, because the first, like BMW never made an X5 before, so this was like their first attempt at like a decent SUV. So they stole a lot of the stuff from an E39. So you've like, you look at indicator stalks, um, most of the steering wheel controls, onboard computer, you'll notice this straight gear selector straight out of an E39, like basically all the electronics out of E39 and the engines too, so like this has got the straight 6 3 litre twin turbo diesel engine, started off again 530 diesel, all that sort of stuff, so they just transferred it for all the engine and electronics basically across and made like a new platform, so the engine's been in a lot of things and it's got turbos, which is super cool, so I've gone from like, yeah, turbo diesel, turbo, turbo, and like, I'm not sure if this is a good thing, but when you actually like plant it, there's definitely black smoke out the back, which is, it's fun. And with classic, like E39, you can definitely tell they stole it, because we got some parking sensors that don't work. They just beep when you go in reverse, which is great when you're in Wellington trying to park in tight places, but it's cool. And check out this, check out the space in this thing. Check it out. So this has dropped it down, because we've just been moving uh, my partner across to stay at my place of quarantine. You can see here, we uh, spilled the old, uh, the, the breakfast cereal. Which is great when you when you're locked away for a couple of weeks. But anyway, um, so yeah, you fold down the seats. You can chuck a bed in the back. It's just a really practical car, but it's actually so fun to drive. And there's a lot of space. Like there's a lot of width across the cabin space, which is pretty cool. So, moral of the story, I'm pretty much in love with it, like all my cars. But this one's more. So. I'll show you a few things on it. So if you look at wing mirrors, they're like chipped and broken, and they just that one's loose. It doesn't actually click. That one's also smashed. You got like interior trim coming off here. This brown leather, it shouldn't be that brown. There's some filth in it, so we're gonna try to get that out. The carpets, they don't look it in a camera, but they've seen a lot better days. So I'll probably do it tomorrow. I'll do a video, well, I'll do a video tomorrow. So we're just gonna make it, I wanna make it clean, tidy it up, make it real nice, and then start changing stuff on it. But remember on the key, do you remember on the key? This is, this is the weirdest thing to me, okay? So this key, BMW badge is missing. I'm like, okay, that's cool. That's just, it fell off, something happened. We still have one on here, but when you come outside, if you come outside, there's no badge. That's okay. The outside one fell off. Come to the front one, no badge. Okay, getting weird, but maybe it happens to old ones. Not that I've seen it happen to many old ones in New Zealand with the sun, but. Get the spare key, spare key missing the badge as well. So I have a funny feeling whoever owned this 
didn't like BMW badges and just, well, they were real like a fidgety, I don't understand. I don't understand. So I'll get some new one of those. I'm thinking maybe like the black non-genuine ones. Ah, non-genuine anyway. Cool, so that is the car. It's pretty, like, I haven't said much in this video, but it's just, I'm excited about the car. Like, locked up for four weeks with a new car. It's like the best thing in the world for me. Despite everything horrible is happening, that's just, this part's awesome. So, I'll do a more video tomorrow. I didn't really want to show you everything on the car, partly because it's hard to there, but mainly because I want to shoot tomorrow. But, um, yeah, it's exciting. I'm loving having an SUV. It's just so much fun having a diesel. There's just so much torque. It just, just goes. And, like, it's a mean awesome project to me because running gear everything's mint but the outside is just crap so hopefully we make it cool we're hoping to order some parts from the states don't know if we're going to be able to but fingers crossed somehow stuff gets in from somewhere in the world it's not in lockdown but awesome spot new car we got trev we got a puppy here but yeah keep watching like subscribe comment friends family that are bored watch help me make some video make some comments and let's have some fun with this